What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, middle-aged white women everywhere are going to be extraordinarily distraught to hear that Kohl's has now been canceled. You might not be familiar with the brand Kohl's if you uh, don't live in the United States, but they are the preeminent, like, mi middle-class shopping, school shopping clothes place. You know, every year school would start. That's where my parents would take me to Kohl's department store. Now they have all these women completely addicted to a thing called Kohl's Cash, which uh, puts them essentially on an endless hamster wheel of just having to spend that free $5 uh, that they got in the mail before it expires. But guess what Kohl's also likes to sell? Woke clothes for kids. And with everybody uh, in the center and right essentially on the warpath, um, Kohl's was revealed to have this wide variety of clothes which targets kids. And, of course, their stock has reacted. Now, uh, not all market fluctuations can be um, attributed to a boycott. And with Kohl's, for example, a lot of uh, conservatives are saying, ah, Kohl's the stock is down. Well, it's basically been down for the last month. It's been down for the last six months, down nearly 50%. So, you know, Kohl's is being replaced uh, by internet shopping, they're doing things that they can't, you know, whatever they can. They really can't afford extra uh, trouble, but they got it. Kohl's is the latest target uh -huh. the, to, for uh, the Bud Lightning uh, effect here. Coal stock down 5%. Now, after new controversy, which, you know, it's again, I think that the point being. You know, you can have clothes, you can target, you know, whatever for whatever, but maybe not for kids. You could see coal stock down 5% on Tuesday after social media blitz call for boycott of the department store based on its Pride Month merchandise. The customer backlash follows a similar controversy at Target, where social media users criticized the retailer's assortment of Pride Month products, including a trans friendly swimsuit, videos tagged with boycott coals. At about 280,000 views on TikTok alone, as of Tuesday, Kohl's and Target are not unique in selling Pride-themed merchandise. Walmart, JCPenney, and Gap also sell such products, and many retailers have done so for years. Navigating such customer criticisms has been thorny and a thorny undertaking for retailers. We know that Target, for example, uh, has, not doing, has not done very good with it. See, Kohl's faces shopper uproar after becoming the latest retailer to market LGBTQ clothing to kids. Quote, disgusting. Several bodysuits designed for newborns featuring LGBTQ messaging. Now, who's buying these clothes? You know, toddlers aren't buying these clothes. Like, you put a kid in a, in, you put a toddler in a onesie or whatever the case is. Again, for me, it's about being careful. Um, I, I don't think it's intellectually honest to pretend that, oh, Kohl's just started selling rainbow stuff. I mean, they've been selling this kind of clothing, I'm sure, for many years. They want to sell candles. They want to sell this, that, or the other thing. Um, that's fine. My, I, as I like to continue to you know, remind people, my personal line is when it's like, you know, Target had that book called Buy a Buy Binary, which was like a, a kid's book. Um, and then they had another kid's book that um, was also kind of filled with woke ideology. You buy, buy some kid with a, you know, there's a, a kid with a rainbow onesie. I mean, obviously, you know who put that kid in that clothing and it's probably not changing their mind or, or you know, um, shaping their mind. My whole thing is to be, you know, pick your spots. Various social media accounts posted a plethora of Pride merchandise, including a baby Sonoma community Pride bodysuit designed for three, six, and nine months. The outfit depicts what appears to be uh, two women coupled with a dog and three children, including a young boy in a wheelchair. <laughs> of course. One of the adults in the drawing carries a progressive Pride flag. Other merchandise includes a Love is Love banner, towels, bibs, candle shorts, and pillows. Several uh, other clothing items can also be found, including shirts that say, be proud and ask me my pronouns. Now, this kind of stuff, you know, ask me my pronouns or, you know, stuff that's in particular targeted towards youth. These are things that I think people should be wary of. Um, some people are going 
you know, completely all the way and saying like, Hey, any pride merchandise is an issue. Um, and I think that, you know, that's a good way to have the left discredit you. I think ad adults can do what they want to do as long as they're not infringing on anyone else's rights. Uh, kids, this kind of stuff I think is creepy and weird and, uh, has a right to be called out. The pride display and associated products were initially highlighted on their Twitter account and wokeness, which posted pictures of several items alongside the caption. looks like Coles didn't learn a thing from Bud Light or Target. Turning Point USA influencer Morgan or Morgan slammed the Pride merchandise in a video posted Sunday calling Cole's sale of LGBT clothing for kids disgusting and blatant virtue signaling to promote, to promote trans ideology. Pride for babies at Cole's. Why does Cole's support, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, LGBTQ people demanding validation from babies? Why don't they associate, why do they associate babies with these type of things? Skateboarder Taylor Silverman asked. Um, several users even called for a boycott of the company. And here we have another one. Kohl's has now made a baby onesie that is promoting transgender ideology to kids as young as three months old with this baby's onesie and matching rainbow tights. And here's the thing. This entire pride collection, the boycotting target, has never had anything to do with the LGBTQ in general. It has never had to do with gay people. It has never had to do with Pride Month. It is the fact that it is being shoved in American spaces. It has to do with the fact that it's targeting children. It has always been about targeting children. Why do babies need a onesie, a baby onesie, with a pride flag on it? They don't. It is blatant virtue signaling. Again, I, you know, I'm obviously a little more, uh, you know, liberal on this type of stuff. But when it comes to kids stuff, uh, that's just a no, you know, that's a hard line. Uh, Kohl's Corporation has seen the stock plummet over the last year, sinking by 50% due to various worrying signs. In July 2022, the stock dropped almost 21% after retailer revealed that it ended a potential deal to be acquired by franchise group and warned of a decline in sales exacerbated by drop in consumer spending. Kohl's did not return Fox News Digital. You see many Target locations across the country you know, feature massive Pride Month displays on an annual basis. Again, these type of things have existed for a long time, but people are kind of sick of having it crammed in their face constantly. I mean, there's not a straight pride month. Um, I do think it's funny. It's all 50% off already before June even, but that is the Kohl's model. Everything's on sale at Kohl's. I remember like I, when I was a kid, you, you weren't getting any clothes unless it was on sale. Um, you know, and it's just like, it's, it's weird. Um, you know, with the kid stuff, it makes people feel uncomfortable. And I completely understand why supermarket of his boycott over pride, baby onesie, leaving people baffled. Why is there baby clothes for this? I mean, I suppose you would, I don't know if you had a LGBTQ family member, you might put them in this onesie when you take them over to visit. I, I mean, there are a lot of non nefarious reasons to put a kid in this stuff, but I think people have basically said like, Hey, this is where we're drawing the line. See a widely circulated video initially removed for hate speech, but later reposted highlighted the additional pride theme clothing options for kids. Among them was a sweatshirt featuring Minnie Mouse ears superimposed on the rainbow colored flag adorned with the words belong, believe, be proud. These products further fueled anger of those demanding a boycott, drawing comparisons to the backlash chase by retail giant Target, which saw a staggering $10 billion decrease in market valuation due to his LGBTQ collection for kids. I mean, it seems like such an easy thing to not do, to just have products for adults that are, you know, appropriately themed. I mean, look, I maybe people don't agree with me, but like, look, if you want to wear whatever clothes... You know, I guess there might be a, a, a few tiny exceptions. I, I can't even really think of one off the top of my head. But, you know, you want to wear a shirt that's like an extension of your freedom of speech. You know, you want to say you want a shirt that says whatever. You should be able to wear that and do that, at least in, in this country. Um, same thing goes should go for pride stuff. But when you start, you know, targeting towards kids and making kids clothes out of it, then um, it becomes a little bit a little bit more nefarious leave kids and babies out of it and i think that's you're going to be fine
If you fellow conservatives, you know what to do. Hit them hard. Boycott Kohl's. F you Kohl's. Um, you done effed up too. You see, you know, again, like celebrate Pride Month. And the thing is like when they put it right when you walk in the store, it's like everybody's subjected to it. Um, and that's an interesting, you know, you can have some interesting conversations around that. Uh, certainly people have had enough. Uh, and, you know, here you have Coles be proud with two dads and three kids. That invokes a lot of uh, feelings in a lot of people. The people have a lot of opinions on whether or not um, gay couples should adopt, um, you know, and it's it's just weird. It's just weird that you have this kid stuff and, uh, you know, I suppose Walmart will probably be next, but uh, I'll catalog it all here on the channel. If you enjoy the video and you enjoy the coverage, please do make sure you leave a like on the video. If you're having it, please do subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.